he is not just talking about the quantity, throwing just a few seeds out. He's talking about the quality. You can't throw your less at God and expect him to bless with an amazing harvest. He has given you his best. He wants your best in return. He did not send a, a, a lesser savior to, to bring you halfway home. He sent his own son to die on a cross that you might make it all the way home for all eternity, having all sins forgiven. Why? Because he sowed well and not sparingly. He gave you his best and he only asked you to do what he was willing to do himself. Give him your best. Don't sow sparingly or you'll reap sparingly. Feel me? Like, I'm being for real. If you give God your less, why are you expecting God's best in return? We all want blessed by God. We all want to see his hand of favor in our life, his anointing upon us, walking in his endowment. But if we are only giving God our leftovers, and I ain't talking about money here. Don't get that twisted up. I'm talking about our heart, our willingness, our desire, our action, what our hands are put to. If we ain't working like we're working for God, we are giving him less than our best. And if we so sparingly like that, we better not expect God to show his abundance to us, his lavish favor upon us. Because if we withhold the tithes and offerings from God, and I ain't talking about money, don't get it twisted, I'm talking about our heart's intent. If we cheat God on that, he cannot bless what we don't give. So don't sow sparingly into this kingdom. Give him everything. Don't let your hands be idle. Work as you work for a king. Give him your best, and he will not withhold his from you. This is what it is. He said, don't sow sparingly. Why? Because he wants to bless abundantly your life, your relationship, this peace in the heart that we all long and um, seek for, this joy throughout this life, even when tumultuous times come, even when the, the trials and temptations follow, we can have joy in the peace of it or in, in the midst of it. See what I'm talking about? So don't sow sparingly with your God. Give him your everything that you might reap abundantly. Because as you sow, you shall reap.